Well, it's a celebration. This is a long slog to get from an idea to having folks in the water taking stones down. So for the local community, I mean, this, they're so invested in this and it's absolutely, it's absolutely great to see, see people like that so excited about, you know, restoring the stream. And it's, you know, kind of, it just reflects it on like the nature of the community. This is Sucker Brook, it's a cold water fishery. We have, at Heald Street, we have a culvert that we're replacing. Then we have another culvert that we're replacing here at the Kais Parker Conservation Area. And then we have a dam, the dam removal that you're here for today. It, we're doing the dam removal and then upstream we'll do the culvert replacing at Kais Parker. And then in the spring, we're looking forward to replacing the culvert at Hill Street. You know, if we can restore it to a stream, a cold flowing, natural flowing stream, it's just so much healthier. Restoring streams to their natural conditions is so, so important. And that's why we do this work, working with our partners. So many of the 25,000 culverts and small bridges in Massachusetts are reaching the end of their service lifespan at the same time that they're in, um, getting impacted by climate change. Climate change is bringing more intense rain events um, and more concentrated rain events, which results in failures of these structures. Um, many of the current structures are undersized to existing flows and especially future flows. Our program is working with municipalities to upgrade these crossings um, to facilitate not only fish and wildlife passage, but to also be more resilient to climate change. So the Heald Street uh, Culvert Replacement Project is one of the projects that we funded through our municipal grant program. The existing structure is a 36 inch wide corrugated metal pipe that is severely degraded. The existing structure is gonna be replaced with a 16 foot span. So it'll have a natural bottom that allows uh, the movement of fish and wildlife. Um, and we'll also protect the utilities that run along the corridor. When the town of Pepper looked at the Heald Street Culvert, we realized we had a problem ahead of us. We have a culvert that's failing and we realized it had water, sewer, and gas lines in it. If it collapses, it could be catastrophic. So we actually didn't know where to go because there's so much involved, there's so much cost, there's so much in understanding what needs to be done. The only way to do it, we actually, we realized, oh, this Massachusetts Division of Ecological Restoration, they have a culvert replacement program. And we received so much leadership from DER and the funding to step us through field data collection, the um, engineering, the analyses, the permitting, but every step of the process. If we didn't have DER behind us, we really wouldn't know which direction to go. The Division of Ecological Restoration works on protecting and restoring waterways throughout Massachusetts for the benefit of people and the environment. We do that in a variety of ways. We work on cranberry bog restoration, dam removals, culvert replacements, and wetland and floodplain restoration. So this dam removal project is the furthest project downstream on Sucker Brook. By removing this dam, they're opening up habitat to other reaches um, in the upstream watershed where there's additional barriers that are encountered. Uh, the town of Pepperell has been actively working on um, removing those barriers. The town of Pepperell is working with the Division of Ecological Restorations and the Squanatissa Chapter of Trout Unlimited as well as we have other partners here as well. We have the uh, members of the Neshoba Conservation Trust, which is the local land trust, and even the National River Watershed Association, which is our local watershed group. And I can't emphasize enough how important our partners are. We don't get these projects done without partners and having the support, both financial, engineering, all kinds of support, technical support from Division of Ecological Restorations is the only way we can make these projects happen. So my name is Jason Carmignani. I'm the aquatic ecologist for the Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program. And that's under the Massachusetts Division of Fisheries and Wildlife. And part of the project uh, is doing the habitat management for rare and endangered species. And so there's actually two state listed mussel species immediately uh, downstream of the dam, about 100 meters, that were gonna be impacted by the dam removal. DDR had to come to us and uh, we already knew these mussels were here. And in order to do the dam removal, they had, you know, we helped them write a management plan and then help, help them implement the plan. Taking this dam down creates a waterway that should have been there 100 years ago, naturally. And TU fills in the cracks of other organizations. We sort of are the eyes and ears, the river keepers of the Nisitisic, which the Sucker Brook flows into. So we see changes. We think, see things that need to be done so we can see it and then we can bring it up to the agencies and then pull them together. You're restoring habitats, increasing species resilience, uh, encouraging you know, native species to thrive. Um, 
those, those are things that, that you know should be valued uh, when trying to manage manage habitats, restoring ecosystems. Within a year, we'll have filled in. You'll have a natural stream flow, and then grasses and bushes and trees will just, I mean, Mother Nature is aggressive when it comes to restoring itself. And in a year, you won't recognize it, and five, you'll never knew a dam was there. So it's very healthy, not just for the brook trout, they sort of are the canary in the coal mine, but for the wood turtles, for the mussels, and everything else that lives below the surface or walks along the stream beds. So it's a very exciting time. You're seeing a rebirth of a stream, and you've got to be here to see it.